Maca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here, and welcome to a video that I'm sure is highly requested, even if you don't know it yet. I'm gonna be taking you through a free and easy game, and that game is called Space Science Investigations. And it doesn't actually really show up if you search it all that easily. So feel free to like go to the store and find it. But it's called Space Science Investigations. And it's actually the second easy and free game made by NASA. This is a first person game where you get to tour the International Space Station and you get to learn about some of the stuff astronauts do. And it's not the best game ever, but it's pretty short. If you play it normally, it'll last about an hour or two. But if you follow along with this walkthrough, you should be done in about 30 minutes all the way through. So once you do install the game and load it up, go and enter the game. And then you can just press Y to basically skip all of the tutorial stuff. And you should immediately unlock your first achievement here, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause. And you do have to wait for some of the dialogue to sometimes cycle cycle through but once you can pause the game and I'm gonna recommend that you go to this screen and you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go to controller preset and I would highly recommend slow and also if you are an inverted player you want to invert pitch as well now I'm gonna explain the controls really quickly you are in space and there's no gravity and you're kind of floating so the controls are very floaty as a result when you push forward a little bit you'll like keep moving I just tapped forward and I'm gonna just keep moving but what you can do here is with the left stick you can go forwards and backwards with the right stick you can look around up and down left and right remember everything floats with the left bumper and right bumper, you can ascend and descend. And then with the right trigger and left trigger, you can rotate right and rotate left. So that's the controls for the game. Let's start unlocking some achievements. From where we spawned, look up and to the left. And you should notice a blue book kind of floating above your shoulder here. It's called Activities. You may need to use the right bumper to float up to it and go up to it in order to interact with it and press A to interact with items. Again, the controls are very floaty. And this is our first set of six books. These are kind of collectibles. It's It says how far can the germs spread? So that's gonna be our first book collectible. And now let's continue. Just past this, there is a room and you'll see a large yellow diamond. The yellow diamonds are basically our main objectives that the game takes us through. You can follow the main objectives, but I'm going to be kind of speed running through the game. Now, if you go into this room right here, look up and to the left to find the second book floating right here, just near the door entrance. This book, you'll have to kind of, kind of get nice and close to it, says, what do you see? That's two out of the six books. Now from this book, look into the room and there will be a bunch of packages here. We're gonna approach the package near the bottom left first. And again, you may turn yourself upside down and you wanna make sure you're right side up. So we're gonna interact with this CTB. And in here, you wanna pick up the screwdriver and the duct tape. You can then back out and look towards the top right, assuming you have the same orientation as me. And here you'll wanna interact with the next little bag. Inside, you want to pick up the wrench and the drill. This will unlock the handyman achievement as shown on screen for having those four items. Wrench, drill, screwdriver, duct tape. You can now turn around and head back in the same direction that we were going. And now you'll want to go across the hall to the other room here. Now, as we start heading across, our character mates may start getting sick. That's just a part of the game. But go across to this other room, go near to the far end and look to the right. You'll see this long white kind of uh, organization bin. Click within it, pick up the soccer ball, the dinosaur, the teddy bear and the yo-yo. And you should unlock the playtime achievement here. Now we're actually going to go cure our sickness a little bit, but there will be some collectibles along the way. So enter back to where we kind of started the game here. And as you enter back, you can turn to the right. And this long corridor in front of us is the lab. We'll be in the lab quite a few times. But as you start into the lab, what you can do is look up and to the left as you enter for your third book. It is a little bit hidden here behind a couple of the other books. 
So watch out, make sure you stay oriented. This third book is how do you get to the core of the problem or can you get to the core of the problem? Then we're gonna continue down the hallway and look up and to the right. Near this kind of screen here, you can find another book and it's the blue book that counts here. And this is what does your inner ear do? That's four books. Now get to the end of the hall and in front of you down and to the right, there should be your fifth book. Additionally, I just unlocked an achievement that I'll quickly explain after I grab the fifth book. Our fifth book here on the ground is Can You Give Your Heart a Workout? And the achievement I unlocked is called Straight Shooter. And Straight Shooter is unlocked for flying through the US lab without touching the walls. So the US lab is just this hallway right behind us where we came from. You can see it says to the lab. So if you can just fly back and forth without touching the walls, you'll unlock the straight shooter achievement. Now, once you exit the lab, you can look to your right hand side and go towards this area, which is technically our objective. This is the tranquility node. If at any point you're lost, you can open up your map and fast travel where you wanna go. So we are going to tranquility node three. Once you enter into here, after getting the straight shooter achievement and your fifth book, look into the bathroom stall on your right hand side. Here you'll see a floating book. This should be our sixth and final book called uh, something about bone density here. You'll unlock the bookworm achievement and then interact with the toilet here in order to get the pit stop achievement as well. Now what we'll do is continue around the corner, keeping to the right hand side and following our main objective marker. In the storage facility on the left hand side here, interact with it and grab the sickness bag. Pause the game to open up your tablet, go to your inventory and use the sickness bag. After you use the sickness bag, it will cure your sickness, but it'll also unlock a video for us. So wait for the dialogue to stop, press pause, go to the main screen of the tablet, go to videos, and here you've unlocked the vestibular video. Play the video. There are six videos in this game. We'll need to play all six of them. This is required for us to not only unlock all of the achievements, but also to proceed with the main objectives of the game. So this is pretty important. in the muscles and joints and in the inner ear help astronauts know how they are I'll leave this in the video just so you don't have to pause and unpause too many times you should be able to just hopefully follow along with the video uh, and if I'm going a little bit too fast and you're watching on a full browser experience you can change the video speed to 75% or even 50% if you find that it's easier to use that way after completing the video you'll unlock the vomit comet achievement and now what we can do is just backtrack uh, away from this tranquility node three. This on our left is the washroom and then follow our main objective marker across the hall. Once you enter into here, you will unlock the next kind of part of the game and unlock the home sweet home achievement. And get some pictures for ground analysis. Once you're able to pause the game, go to the map, go to the right hand side. And what you'll want to do is fast travel to the Zvezda service module. Once you're here, pick up one of the two cameras in front of you. After you pick up the camera, pause the game again, go to the map. And what we'll do is we'll fast travel to destiny us lab and fast travel there. Once we're in this lab, we've been here before, but look directly down underneath you and you'll see the wharf camera hole. Interact with it, choose the camera from your inventory and then back out. Next, what we can do is go look up. You'll see hatch exit, go forward and look to the right hand side. You'll see a little sleeping pod here, I believe. In the sleeping pod, you can interact with the picture 
the before and after photos of the astronaut. And here you'll get a short explanation of what you're looking at. This game is actually really educational if you actually want to learn about the International Space Station. But after looking at those photos, pause the game, go to the main menu of the tablet, go to videos, and play the cardiovascular video. Here you'll learn a little bit about the body and how astronauts' bodies are affected by living in space. Uh, also, the International Space Station, this is the real one that exists up in the sky. If you're lucky enough to look up at a certain time of the day, you might even see it. Uh, you may want some binoculars if you want to see it really well. Uh, but it's, uh, as far as I can tell, an accurate representation of that, and you can learn quite a bit about uh, each of the modules and whatnot. So it's kind of cool in, in that way. Because the heart has to do less work, it may become smaller. The consequences of these changes in the cardiovascular system can be combated by exercise and an increase in electrolyte fluid intake before returning to Earth. After that video is over, you'll unlock the Space Face achievement. We can then back up and go back to the US lab hallway here and look down into the camera hole that we just put in. We can now interact with the camera and take a picture of the uh, HTV, I believe it's called. You can just quickly go through all of the uh, little menu there. And what you're waiting for is this little spaceship thing on the left hand side to come into the middle. Once it does, the borders will turn green and then you'll just have to take three quick photos and it should unlock an achievement for us. So now that the borders turning green, one picture, two pictures, three pictures, We'll take a fourth and a fifth just to be safe, and that'll unlock the Shutterbug achievement. We'll we can now back out, open for the HTV and we will get a short little cutscene here. And what we want to do is look down again and interact with the Wharf camera a second time. Now we're going to get a little bit of a secret achievement, and there will be a UFO that shows up. It can take about 15 or 20 seconds. So just keep waiting patiently. I believe this is a little bit of a joke as the UFO is pretty obviously on a little piece of string. But you're waiting for the UFO to show up on the left side of the screen. And once it's near the middle and the borders turn green, you can take the photo and unlock this secret achievement. It's called Cut the Feed and it's worth a whopping 200 gamer score. So that's pretty cool. We'll now back out. And what we'll do is we will actually go to the map and fast travel to Tranquility Node 3. It's just going to be a little bit quicker and easier to figure out where we're going. And once you spawn here, look down and you should notice your next mission marker over here. And there are basically seven windows. There's one near the top and then six around. This is, I believe, called the cupola or the or the copula i'm not really sure but just interact with all seven buttons and this will open up all seven windows so again there's six buttons on the bottom and then one button kind of near the top middle and this is our next main objective so you'll see all the little objective markers here pretty obviously uh lined up and once is you open up all, all right? of the buttons here you should unlock the earth gazer achievement might take a second as uh, uh, we get the little um, notification there. There we go. And now what we need is we need the glasses. So we'll go to the map again and we will go to the Destiny US lab. Fast travel there. Directly in front of you, you should notice a yellow diamond. Interact with that. Inside of this storage container, we can find the glasses. So pick those up, go into your tablet, into your inventory, and equip the glasses. It After you equip like the glasses, glasses you should have a small little cutscene the uh, where they talk to you. And then after that's done, you should be able to pause your game to access your tablet. On your tablet, go to videos, and you'll want to play the vision video. This is our third out of, I believe, six videos. Microgravity, fluid buildup may cause increased pressure in the skull and brain. This can affect the eye in several ways. 
choroidal folds, swelling of the This just explains how the eyes work differently in space. Uh, I guess they swell. I'm not really sure. I was taking notes on my uh, two earlier playthroughs. This is my third playthrough of the game so that I can make sure all the information is correct. Don't forget, if you're liking this video, drop a like, share the video with a friend. We can get some easy gamer score together. These may remain when the astronaut returns to Earth. Research is continuing in order to find a solution to these problems. We've got a while. This will unlock the to see or not to see achievement. We can now back out, use the tablet, and we can actually fast travel again to Tranquility Node 3. Here, right in front of us to our left, we'll notice the workout machine, which we will interact with. This will begin a small mini game where you're just trying to basically uh, hit the white little um, notches with the orange arrow. Your high score doesn't matter. Just play the game for 30 seconds. If you are looking to get a high score, then try to beat me. And if you do, make sure you leave a comment and tell me by how many points you beat me by. It'll be probably pretty easy to beat me. I believe it goes faster and faster, so it's a little bit harder and harder. I'm also talking and filming this video at the same time, so I wouldn't be surprised if you beat me pretty easily. Hopefully we can get a couple perfects here. And we got 345, which isn't even three stars. So it's definitely possible to get closer to 500, actually. But once you're done the workout, you can back out. That's kind of the next main objective we needed to do. After that's completed, you should get a small little dialogue. Pause the game, go to videos, and you'll have a new video here called Muscle, which will talk about how your muscles shrink in microgravity as you don't have to support your own body weight and whatnot. So you have a little bit of a tutorial on how that works. So Muscle once you watch this video, you unlock yet another achievement. Keep us standing, such as those around the spine and calves, are affected the most. These muscles can lose up to 20% of their mass over the course of a mission. Exercise is used to help maintain muscle strength and mass. And that achievement is called No Pain, No Gain. After you exit out of that, you may notice some bubbles up on your screen as well as the fact that you'll now be sneezing and coughing. You have a cold. So let's pause the game, go to the map, and go to Destiny US Lab. Here, move forward and look up into the express rack number two. If you look in here, you will find medication. I have already taken it as my game crashed, unfortunately, and I edited this together. In here, you'll find medication. You can then go to your inventory and take the medication to cure your cold. And this will unlock another video in your tablet uh, after uh, the medication has uh, been used and you are cured, that is. So wait for the little dialogue to appear. Now go to videos and you'll have an immunity video as your immunity is altered while in space. And there are many factors like radiation, stress, and microgravity. And I guess your body's ability to absorb nutrients and whatnot through your bloodstream is altered. So you can learn a little bit about science here and feel like you're smarter than your friends the next time you talk to them. So watch the immunity video and an achievement will pop once it's over. system appear weakened, which could lead to infections. Other aspects appear overactive, which could cause allergy or hypersensitivity. Certain viruses, such as the virus that causes chickenpox, have been shown to reactivate in microgravity. This doesn't mean the astronauts are sick, but is evidence of immune changes in astronauts that may precede disease. Research on ISS is continuing to characterize exactly which parts of the immune system are altered during spaceflight. It's time to grab the HTTP That is the in space, no one can hear you sneeze achievement all done. Let's load up the map and go to Tranquility Node 3. A lot of things happen there. It's a very popular uh, module. And go back to the cupola, which is kind of underneath us here. And you can interact with this machine uh, on one of the sides. There are two little mini games you'll have to play. They're super easy, so you can ignore the instructions. But basically for this first mini game, look at the screen on the right hand side and then aim the green crosshair down 
and then use the right bumper to move forward. You'll see this kind of black circle and you wanna aim near the very top of the circle. And once you're aimed there, just keep pressing the right bumper to Great slide job. into it. And this, this will be a successful successful coupling or whatever. If you fail, don't worry, you just get to try again. So there's not a lot of stress there. And then what we'll need to do is we'll need to berth the HTV. And for this one, you just wanna aim the red circle over the circle there in the middle of the screen, again, on the right hand side. You can aim if you want, but the best thing to do is just to hold the left bumper and it'll pretty much line up perfectly from, uh, you know, as soon as you gain control of it. And once you do this, you will complete this right. mini game. You did it. And I believe this also unlocks another achievement. Looks like we're all set. Sweet. That is the cargo catcher. We can now pause the game after we get the uh, small little dialogue here. We can go to the map and we want to go to Harmony Node 2. Once you get here, look directly down and under your feet. And there is a food storage room here. So go forward. You'll notice the orientation of our character. But if you look to the right in the first little cargo area, you should be able to any minute now pick up an apple. And then if you look down and underneath yourself, you'll be able to pick up a filled milk pouch. Pick those up, go to your inventory, eat your apple, go into your inventory, and then eat your milk or drink your milk, I guess. And then after that, nutrition. you should get a little bit of uh, information about nutrition and how the, it affects our bones and microgravity. You can then load up your final video, which is about bones. So play the bones video, and this should unlock yet another achievement. Earth, we're almost done the game. Well, we're pretty much done all of our main objectives. There are a couple of achievements we'll still need to grab here, though. But more or less, we're done the bulk of the game. In microgravity, less bone is rebuilt since there is less need for our skeleton to support our bodies. This results in bone loss similar to that in people with osteoporosis. Astronauts are attempting to combat this loss of bone through a combination of nutrition and exercise. Great job. So that unlocks the Apple a Day Award. Now what we need to do is we need to visit every single module of the space station, but luckily we have fast travel available to us. And since that was our last objective, we'll also unla unlock this 100 point achievement for completing all of the missions. So we're gonna go to the map and now we're gonna visit all of the modules we never got a chance to visit. We'll start at the Elm Japanese Experiment Logistics module. Go there, once you spawn, move around a little bit, and then let's go and visit all of the other areas. Now you should have visited all of the areas on the right hand side, so let's go and look at the Russian side of the ISS. We'll start with Poisk. Move around a little bit when you get there. Go to the map. Go to PERS, move around a little bit. Go to Zarya, move around a little bit. Then go to Rasvet, move around a little bit. And then go to Soyuz and move around a little bit. You should get the Station Explorer. Uh, unlocked here. If you didn't, just go to the map and make sure you visit every single location. I think you have to do it in kind of one at once. So if your game crashed or you quit, you may have to revisit some areas you've already done. Now at this point, I only have one achievement left, but you should have two and I'll explain that in a sec. But the next achievement we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pause the game, go to more info. And here, if you were to click one of these, it's gonna open up Microsoft Edge browser, and it's gonna take you to an article where you can learn more about this specific topic. So the first one was Bag of Bones, and then we're just gonna load back into the game. And what you need to do for this next achievement is load 10 of these Microsoft Edge tabs. So you're just gonna open it, you're gonna press B to go back into the game, and you're gonna open 10 of these tabs. 
So we have, uh, we're going to do this live so that you guys can kind of keep up. No reason in uh, editing the video down so that you guys have to pause it and everything. So that is number five. Uh, then we can do number six. We'll go back. Number seven. We'll go back. It does kind of get a little laggy here, so... Uh, you know, bear with the game for now. Number seven, I believe, uh, or eight. I don't remember at this point. I think that's eight. Um, and they turn purple if you've already read them, so you can kind of keep track. You have to open all of them. Uh, that's number nine. And the last one here we'll have to open up is Vestibular Ocular Reflex. You'll see that it unlocks the achievement there called Principal Investigator. You might have to come back into the game just to make sure it triggers. There you go. At this point, you should only have one achievement left. And to get it, what you need to do is restart the game. So go and close the game. And launch up the game again. Once you launch into the main menu, press A to get back into the game. And this will unlock the Frequent Flyer achievement or patch in the game. And this is for just playing the game a second time from scratch. And that's that. We have the 1000 Gamer Score. We are all done and dandy in about 30 minutes. Thank you so much for watching the video. Share the video with a friend. Drop a like on the video. I'll see you soon. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.